everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another how to build video. In this video, I'm showing you guys how you can make a YouTube setup slash gaming setup inside of Minecraft. So here is my YouTube setup. Now, I know this looks completely cluttered, but trust me, everything has a reason. And any YouTuber will tell you that their whole entire YouTube setup isn't the cleanest space in their entire house. So let's go ahead and quickly run through this so we can start up on the tutorial. So right here, of course, we have our triple monitor for our computer. We have our keyboard right here and our mouse. And of course, we could sit inside of our gaming chair right here if you would like to. So now I'm sitting at my YouTube setup. Now, right up over here, let me <laughs> right up over here is the camera. I used a Wither Skeleton Skull as our webcam slash camera in case we ever want to do a face cam with our YouTube videos. And then right here, we have some good lighting because a webcam or camera doesn't look that good without good lighting. If you don't have good lighting, then it's going to look terrible. And then, of course, we have a green screen in case we want to get rid of our entire background. We can chroma key that thing right out of there. <laughs> if anyone doesn't know what that means, pretty much when you chroma key with a green screen, you can remove your entire background and just have the chair and you inside of the webcam. Then right over here, we have a laptop. Maybe we want to put our audio slash webcam video on a different system. So then we don't have too much stress going to our main desktop. Then right over here to the left hand side, we have our PS4 slash Xbox One. Now this isn't my tutorial. I actually got this from a guy called Biggs. I'll have a link to his video in the description below. The only different thing about mine and his, is instead of using a leather cap, I went ahead and used Wither Skeleton Skulls because pretty much an Xbox One and or PS4 are black rectangles. And that's pretty much what this is, a black rectangle. <laughs> and then right here, this uh, lever right here is just gonna be our microphone. It's going to be a desk microphone. Now I actually have a boom stand microphone in my room, but I couldn't come up with a good idea to make a good looking boom stand microphone. So I just went ahead and used a desk one. And then right over here, I just placed a button next to my Xbox One slash PS4. So it looks like a controller. Then over here down to the left hand side, this is our gaming PC. I pretty much did the exact same thing with this uh, Xbox One slash PS4 and I put it into the ground with an anvil on top of it. Now you can switch the Wither Skeleton face around. The only reason I did that is just because it looks like a few buttons on the front of the gaming PC. And that is pretty much everything. That should be our entire YouTube setup. Now, just giving a heads up, guys, make sure if you want to make sure your uh, mouses, well, buttons are facing this exact same way as it is right here in this video, make sure you are facing either east or facing west on your map. So as you see east or west on your map, that is the only way these buttons are gonna face this exact direction. So let's go ahead and start building this thing, guys. So I'm just gonna be building this entire thing with you. It'll make it a lot easier. So the first thing off is pick a flooring of choice. Now I'm gonna be using dark oak planks because they're my absolute favorite color of wood and just pretty much make a seven by three spacing. So one, two, three, and then come that way seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then count up three, one, two, three, and then go ahead and fill in this entire area. People always ask me why I count it out. It's just to make sure people don't miscount it and then they don't have enough room inside their house or anything like that. That's the only reason why I do the counting. So we have our seven by three spacing. So we're gonna quickly go ahead and place in our desk just so we know exactly where it's going before we start up on all the tutorials and just giving a heads up guys now, I do everything on Minecraft console. So on console edition, you're only allowed up to 16 armor stands. This build alone uses five armor stands. So yes, uses a lot of armor stands. You can, of course, you don't have to build the gaming PC. You don't have to build the Xbox One slash PS4. It will look a lot better, but guys, you only get 16 armor stands. So make sure you use them wisely. We're also going to need some quartz slabs. So let's quickly go ahead and just build our desk. So we're gonna place a block of quartz here three slabs upside down and another block of quartz here now of course you could change up your desk color to whatever you like i like to just use quartz because it looks modern i like modern builds and i like everything to look nice and clean so that is going to be the desk so let's go ahead and start off by building the ps4 slash xbox one because that's of course going to be one of the harder builds inside this entire thing so to get started on that what we're going to need is some armor stands so pull out some armor stands we're also going to need a piston a block of redstone we're also going to need a fence of any color. It really doesn't matter. And then we're also going to need a sea lantern. Now, you don't have to use sea lanterns, but I think it looks a lot better underneath the desk. It gives it some uh, kind of character, I guess. And now what we're going to do is come right above here. Let's use a different block of color, too. So I'm going to go ahead and just take out yellow. And we're also going to need a trap door. So go ahead and take out a wooden trap door and or iron trap door. It really doesn't matter. So wooden, you know, I'll just use iron. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to take out a trap door. Next up, what I want you to do is break these two blocks. One, two. And then break two underneath them. One, two. Now off of this side, we're gonna go ahead and place in our trap door off this block. Make sure you do not break this block ever. Once you place in your uh, Xbox One slash PS4, do not break this block or it's gonna make it break and then you have to do the entire thing over again. So make sure you do not break that block. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and just place in uh, two blocks right above it. So let's go ahead and just use yellow right here. So one, two, and then place a fence post right off this side. Oh, you know what? We're also going to need a wither skeleton skull. So take out a wither skeleton skull. Next up, take out an armor stand and face your armor stand away from that fence post like this with your wither skeleton skull on top of it. 
then we're gonna come up two blocks right on top of this one so come up one two and then place in two blocks right above it like that break this block and then on this one we're gonna place a fence post right above the armor stand face your armor stand away from it with a wither skeleton skull on top of it next up take out your redstone blocks and place a redstone block right here next to your armor stand and do the same thing on this side place it in take out your pistons and place your pistons facing inwards towards your armor stands so place one right here facing inwards place one right here facing inwards and then it should push them into place next up break your pistons break your block of redstone and then go ahead and just break everything but the armor stand so break this this and this let it fall into place and do the same thing down here one two and three make sure you do not break the armor stands and now let them fall into place perfect now what we're going to need is our piston and our redstone block and we're gonna have to send power into them pushing everything into place so right above it, this armor stand here we're gonna have to place in a sea lantern right above it like that and we're gonna have to place in a quartz slab right above that upside down now we can go ahead and break all of these blocks they're not needed and then right next to your slab upside down place in a quartz block now what we have to do is push all of these blocks down into our console so take out your pistons and place a piston facing downwards off this block and the one next to it and now just keep sending power to them until everything is in place so send power to them bloop it'll push everything down go ahead and do it again so place in blocks right above it let's use a different color send power to it bloop and it looks like we have to do it one more time so place in two more blocks right above it boop boop and then send power to them boop and now everything is in place so now all you have to do is break all these blocks and make sure you do not break the armor stands or you're gonna have to put them in again so boop boop and there is our xbox one slash ps4 completely done now all we have to do is just take out a lever and a button place your lever off this side this is going to be our microphone for our desk and then off this side this could be a power brick slash controller for your xbox one slash ps4 next up we're gonna go ahead and put in our gaming pc because yet again this is another one that uses a lot of armor stands and it's just good to get it out of the way now so what we're going to need for this build is a cobblestone wall. So go ahead and take out a cobblestone wall. And then we're going to dig down three blocks right here. One, two, three, and place in your cobblestone wall right here. And now basically we're going to be doing the exact same thing we did here, except it's just going to be a tiny bit different. Instead of using fence posts, we're going to use absolutely nothing. So place a block right above here. Place in an armor stand facing towards your PS4 and Xbox One like that. And then place in a wither skeleton skull on top of it like that. Place a piston next to it. And send power to the piston Boop. now all we have to do is break the block underneath it so go ahead and break the piston break the power source and everything and i wish i didn't do that but it doesn't really matter and then break the block right underneath it and let it fall into place now we're going to do the exact same thing we did here except facing the opposite direction so place two blocks right above it like that place in your armor stand right here facing towards you with a wither skeleton skull on top of it place in your redstone block and place a piston facing inwards towards your armor stand Boop. And then go ahead and break the block and let it fall into place perfect now all we have to do is just push in our block of choice for our flooring right into it so let's go ahead and take out our dark oak wood planks and place in your dark oak wood planks right above it like that and then place a piston facing downwards into it like so and we're going to do the exact same thing we did over here we're just going to push everything into place so boop send power to it then place another block right above that and send power to it once again now before we break this block go ahead and take out an anvil we are going to need an anvil and then place your anvil facing towards it this way so it goes in perfectly and then break the block underneath it and there is our gaming pc completely done and then for our last armor stand we're gonna have to put in our keyboard so for this we're going to need a chain link helmet or chain helmet whatever you want to say and then place in your armor stand right here place in your chain helmet and then go ahead and break this block here and then break the block underneath it as well letting it fall into place and now we're going to pretty much be doing the same exact thing we did with this one right here we're going to place a sea lantern right above it and then we're going to place in a quartz slab upside down right above that. Then face your piston downwards into it like so. And then send power to your piston. So bloop. Place a block above it. Send power to it once again. And now that everything is in place, go ahead and break your piston and your block right above it. And there is your keyboard. And then last but not least, we can go ahead and change this over to a sea lantern as well. Next up, right next to your keyboard, go ahead and place in a button. That's going to be the mouse. And then right next to your mouse, we're going to go ahead and take out a pressure plate of choice. You can use stone, wooden, iron, gold, whatever one you want to use. This is going to be for your laptop. But for me, I'm going to be using a stone. So place in your pressure plate. And now we're also going to need a painting and a sign. So we're going to need a painting and a sign. Place your sign off the backhand side of your stone pressure plate and or whatever pressure plate you're using. And then place in a painting by going into sneak mode and or crouch mode. So go in sneak mode and or crouch mode and place your painting right off the front of that and there's our laptop completely done next up let's go ahead and place in our triple monitor so for this part we're going to need some iron bars and of course we're going to need some paintings 
So come right here off the back middle side where your keyboard is and place an iron bar right down here. And then place one right above it. And then one to the side over here. And one to the side right over here as well. Then take out your paintings and starting from the right hand side, place in three paintings. I like to make sure they're all different, which I did get. You don't have to make sure they're all different, but I think it looks a lot better when they are. Next up, take out your Wither Skeleton Skulls once again. And then right above the middle one, we're going to place in a Wither Skeleton Skull backwards. And that is going to be our webcam slash camera for our face cam. Next up, we can go ahead and place in our lighting. So take out fence post colors of your choice. I'm going to be using spruce fence posts. We're also going to need a redstone lamp. So take out a redstone lamp. We are also going to need signs and item frames. And a wooden pressure plate. So where's my wooden pressure plates? And you know what? We also need paintings. Take out paintings as well. So off both the corners, we're going to place in two fence posts. One, two. Off this side as well. One, two. Place in your redstone lamp. Place in your redstone lamp. Then we're going to place signs off the sides of them. So one, two. Do the same thing on this side. One, two. And then, play, and then place in your pressure plates right above them. Next up, take out your item frames and place item frames off all of them. You're going to have to go into sneak mode to place the ones off the signs. So go into sneak mode and or crouch mode and place them off the signs. Do the same thing on this side. Boop and boop like that. Come on. There we go. And then place in the last ones right off the uh, pressure plates themselves. So bloop and bloop. Then off the backhand side, we're actually going to need levers. I completely forgot. Take out your levers. Place a lever here. Place a lever here. And then if you want to, you don't have to do this. You can place paintings off the backhand sides of them as well. And I like to usually get the same exact painting because it looks a lot better. So I'm going to go quickly ahead and switch, uh, speed through the video until I get that painting over there. All right, guys. So now I have both the same paintings. You don't have to do that. I just like everything to be symmetrical. Next up, we can go ahead and do our gaming chair. So come back over here to the front. Now for our gaming chair, we're going to need soul sand. We're going to need a minecart, a rail. We're also going to need item frames. So go ahead and take out some item frames, a door of your choice. I'm going to be using spruce. We are also going to need a piston and a block of redstone. And I'm pretty sure that's everything we need. So right here off the front hand side, we're going to place in our soul sand block. Place a block right above it with our rail on top of it. Make sure your rail is facing towards your screen. As you can see, mine is not. Make sure it is facing towards it by placing another rail in. Go ahead and just break this rail. It's not needed. Place in your minecart and then break the block underneath it, letting your minecart fall into place. Now, thanks to that soul sand, everything should, it should be stuck in this block. It should not be able to move because it's inside the soul sand. Next up, we're going to take out a stair color of choice. I'm going to be using another brick stairs for my gaming chair. And we're going to face it towards our minecart. So bloop like that. Now, if you cannot place in your staircase, just make sure you push your minecart over like this. If you cannot place it in, and then you should be able to place it in right next to it. Next up, take out your piston, face it towards it and send power to it. Bloop like that. And then go ahead and take out your item frames and your door and place your item frame off the side like that. And on this side as well. And then take out your door and then face backwards and face it in like so. And there is your gaming chair completely done and now there's only one thing left to do and that is place in our green screen so take out some lime hard and clay and we're also going to need iron bars so come out three blocks from here one two three place in three blocks up like that and then make a three by three spacing of lime green clay and then place in iron bars off the sides of them so one two and three same thing on this side one two and three just like that and that's it guys you are completely done you have made the entire youtube slash gaming setup if you want to turn on your lights you absolutely can and then of course you change up the color of flooring by using whatever floor color you use for your entire build so actually my spruce door is going to break i completely forgot about that so let me quickly take out my spruce door once again because once i break this block seat boop so i'm going to go ahead and quickly place that back in like so and now we can go ahead and quickly change up our entire form. But guys, you are completely gone. You don't have to watch me do this, but I'm quickly going to do it because it will make me feel better. So I'm going to go ahead and place all these blocks in like that. There we go. And I want to fix this block back here as well. So boop and boop and just place them all in like this. But there you guys have it. There is your YouTube slash gaming setup. So now we can go ahead and sit inside of it and make YouTube videos and also game as well. But there you guys have it. That is how you build a YouTube slash gaming setup. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Stay tuned to my newest videos. And if you have any ideas of what you want me to build next, make sure you comment it in the section below. All right, guys. Peace.